So you're one of those nurses who have worked on the ward for a very long time and you're tired of the life in the ward and you want to be a clinical nurse specialist or you want to move away from the ward area and maybe go into a research. In this video, I'm going to show you exactly how I got the role of a clinical nurse specialist and a research nurse. Hi, my name is Solomon and on this channel I talk about nursing including career progression. I also talk about travel and lifestyle. The role of a clinical nurse specialist in the UK is a band 6 role and if you're wondering how long you have to work before applying or being eligible for this kind of role, the fact is once you clock 6 months in the UK and you are confident at what you do and you believe in yourself that you know what you're doing, you can start applying for some of these positions. It could be as a ward sister, a clinical nurse specialist it could be as a training nurse practitioner you can start looking out to apply for some of these roles today I'm just gonna share my own story and maybe someone out there might learn a thing or two and maybe encourage you as well that everything is possible as long as you put your mind to do it so I worked with neuro patients as part of my home care role back home in my country in Nigeria and I did that for about a year and six months thereabout before moving to the UK now in the UK I I got the job into the stroke ward still under neurosciences and I did that also for over a year um, before getting this new role that I have now so essentially I have been working with neuro patients since the beginning of my nursing career so you can imagine how easy it is to get attached to that particular department and this is something that this system in the UK tends to do so you see people who come in and they started working in a particular department and they get attached to it and so they don't want to try anything new sometimes I feel that's a bit dangerous to career growth and progression especially if the growth in that particular department is not something that you're happy with or it's not progressive then you may need to look elsewhere so when I started initially, after a few months, I joined my hospital's bank to do extra shift. And the first few times I concentrated on my, my own unit just to do the bank shift on my unit and nowhere else. Obviously, as, like I mentioned before, there is a tendency to get attached to your ward and you wouldn't feel comfortable anywhere else because you know how things go on in your world you understand the treatment protocol and everything but then I thought about it long and hard that going to other wards and other units to learn how they do things will help broaden my prospect and, and scope of practice so I started going to other wards doing bank shifts obviously one for for the extra money and more importantly to understand what was going on there if it wasn't that i would have just stayed on my ward so i decided to continue doing that I worked in ed in medicine now having done all of this i got to understand which units or departments i would never work if given the opportunity testing them around gave me a focus on what exactly i would like and what i would never like so beyond my own department it gave me insight into other options now i'm saying all of this to arrive at where I, there's a point i want to make but then i'm also saying this to let you know that there is so much out there for you to explore if you decide to put yourself in your comfort zone and just stay there then that's where the problem is go out there explore other options and see whether you might even like something better than whatever it is that you've been practicing there are people who are working on the ward and then they just maybe went to do a bank shift in an outpatient department and fell in love with it all right there are many specialties that people are in that you may not even know about if you don't go out take up extra shifts take up bank shifts if you like experience other words also more importantly the reason I advise that you experience other words is because every experience counts in your job application for example I will tell you about my research role um, how I got that one alongside a clinical nurse specialist. Um, so I was working on my unit, apparently it's a stroke ward, and my manager said that they were looking for um, link nurses. But a link nurse is like someone who would um, collaborate with, with other teams. Maybe, for example, the research team, who maybe are coming to recruit patients on my ward. So a link nurse acts like a, as a mediator um, between the ward and the research department in that particular scenario. So it's something like that. So luckily enough, myself and someone else were made the link um, nurses for 
research now the good thing with that is it gave me insight into what happens within the research department i was able to work with some of the research nurses who, who came to my ward then to chat with patients i could go closer to them and ask questions i knew the research they were doing at the time on stroke patients again like i said already every experience counts and i was able to use this link role experience you know sell myself in the application for the research role and also sell myself during the interview just to tell them that i have worked closely with the research team in my department and i know exactly what a b and c is along the line while working with the research team in my department i fell in love with research to be honest i loved everything that i did and then to make the whole thing sweeter to me they don't work the irregular shift pattern that we do on the wards and i really wanted that straightforward work-life balance by this time i was already a senior band five i had started taking charge of my ward less than a year and in my hospital now if you want an experience you go for it ask for it ask questions show interest now that experience has gone a long way to help me in my application that's gone a long way to help me in my interviews if you need an experience go for it so because i already had some senior band 5 experience taking charge of the ward i decided that the next step was to apply for band 6 and so the research positions that i started applying for were all band six but then i made i had made up my mind already that even if i didn't get the band six i really want to move to research and maybe after a while i could actually apply for band six anyway if i got there as a band five because i really wanted the research now here's the good part the part where i had to put in some work i went on to the hospital's website the job website and started searching for band six research positions and i applied i went through the job description the person specification and I saw that there were some courses that I needed to take it's called the GCP good clinical practice so I went on to learn about the course which website I could you know do the course easily and then I created an account so for those who are interested in research GCP is good clinical practice it's like a, a minimum course that you every research nurse has to take even if you don't take it before you start the job you are definitely going to be mandated to take it and it is free so it will be good if you start doing it now you can create an account with NIHR NIHR is National Institute for Health Research so that's the site and there are a host of other courses there um, including informed consent they do webinars on informed consent now and other courses on research that will help you to grow and will help you in your job application if you are looking to apply for a band six position now the other criteria was i needed to have a a bachelor's well i was already enrolled onto a top-up degree at the time so that wasn't a problem and although they said i need to have it i was already enrolled on it so i had to sell myself using that so yeah how you sell yourself also matters and you can look beyond whatever it is that they wanted if you're already enrolled onto the course anyway so eventually i stumbled upon this role that i'm currently in now and it was a split role for clinical nurse specialist and research nurse and it's, it's band six i was able to sell myself to them during the interview as well i believe and so i got a call back that i had been selected for for the job and that was it so currently i work just eight to four monday to fridays some people work eight to six monday to thursdays but then i'm just starting you know so in case you were wondering how i got the two roles at the same time yeah it's possible both jobs came as one and that was how i applied for it there are jobs like that out there well at least in my hospital that come in in twos so they are called split roles so at the moment i work some days in research and other days in the clinic now as a clinical nurse specialist i get to see patients do my assessment diagnose them and give them a treatment plan including prescribing the medication so yeah it's a new department that is not neuro at all it's rheumatology and because i had transferable skills that i was able to sell to them during the interview i got the job so that's why i said from the beginning that every experience 
counts. Doesn't matter whether maybe a particular patient came to your ward that has a, a different comorbidity. We will normally have patients who come in with stroke, but then they have other comorbidities like rheumatoid arthritis and things like that. Now, like I said before, no experience is a waste. So I was able to add all of those as well, including my research experience from my home country. Now, what I say to people always is your nursing experience did not start in the UK. Well, unless of course it started in the UK for you, but if you are an immigrant nurse in the UK and you are applying for a band six position, don't start writing your supporting statement as though you started your nursing career in the UK. No, you were a nurse long before UK happened to you. So you need to use that to your advantage. And as a research nurse, I'm involved in clinical trials in which I recruit research participants for various kinds of research involving medications and everything in between i hope you enjoyed this video if you like this video please give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed to my channel click the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you can get notified whenever i upload a new video do have a nice day bye for now